Hello everybody. So this is a video on how to use this cheap power regulator that I, I got online from China. It's a HW316 version 6. So this is just off AliExpress and it cost about $2 I think. So it came with almost no instructions and the ones that I could find online were barely legible. Uh, so uh, I had a little play and I think I've worked out how this thing works. So this is an instruction uh, tutorial for anyone who's also bought one of these things and, and is wondering how it works. So we have two buttons here. And this one turns on and off the display and this one switches between input and output voltage. So this is nine volts in and this is five volts out. So initially I worked out that if you hold down then this starts flashing and then you can use these left right buttons to to go up and down and then you hold for three seconds to set this number and don't be fooled that's not the actual output voltage uh, the output voltage is controlled with this little trim pot so you just take your screwdriver and and change this and you will raise and lower the output voltage so if, if i do this now you'll see I'm changing the output voltage. And so what, what I was doing before shifting the numbers up and down with the buttons is just to calibrate the input and output voltages. So you can set it to input voltage and then hold down to calibrate. And then you measure with your multimeter the across here and you make sure that this number matches what's on the multimeter. And then you hold for three seconds and then it sets and now to measure and then you do the same to you can calibrate the output voltage so we hold for three seconds and now we measure this voltage and now we twiddle these buttons up and down until this display voltage matches what's what's on my multimeter and it did say in the instructions while you're doing this to be careful not to short out the leads of the, the IC uh, or you might make some magic smoke. And the, the actual unit itself, it's surprising. It's, uh, it seems to work okay. I haven't load tested it. And it comes with a small heatsink, I, I guess for the, the IC here and some small mounting screws and things. So for a couple of dollars, I think it's worth just having one lying around. I think it's a bit um, inconvenient having this small trim pot and then buttons to, to change the uh, input output voltage. So it wouldn't be my first choice, but you may as well pick it up, uh, why not? So.